Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Little League's Daily Skill video sponsored by Boost Juice. So today we're going to learn about the Soul Wool Crossover Stop. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how it looks like, how to do it, and also when you can use it in the match. Okay? So first things first, I'm going to show you guys how it looks like from the front, from the side, from the back. Side. Now I'm going to show you guys a bit slow, slower so you guys can see the motion of doing it. On the front, on this side, on the back, and on this side. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So it's an actually very simple skill. First thing you need to do is your standing foot should be placed behind the ball and slightly to the side of where you're going to drive the ball to. So I'm going to go this way, so that means my leg has to be more towards this side of the ball. So I put my leg behind the ball and slightly towards the side of where I'm going to go. Okay? Why I don't put it behind? Because if you put the leg behind the ball, you're going to push your leg and it's not comfortable to readjust to how to do it. So again, I'll show you. So standing foot slightly behind the ball and to the side where you want to go. Next step is your other leg that's going to be rolling the ball, put on top of the ball, and what you're going to do is roll it across your body this way. So if I want to go this way, I want to roll it across. I'm making an X shape with my leg, so I'm not bringing it away from my body. I'm not making an A shape, I'm trying to make it X shape, across. So I roll it across my body, with the bottom of my foot, and when I roll it, I also have to turn towards where I'm rolling. So I'm turning this way, so I'm rolling this way, I have to turn this way as well. So when you roll, you turn, and then your other leg that was standing on the ground will lift up and stop the ball from going that way. So again, I'll show you guys the step. So standing foot beside the ball, behind it, roll it across your body, rotate, and then your leg, the standing leg, will stop the ball from preventing to go that way. So. When do you use this skill guys? You can use this skill when you're trying to trick the defender when you're dribbling the ball. So ideally the ball, the situation when you use this is when you are the ball is static. When the ball is moving too fast, you will lose control. So for example, you are near the outside line. So this is the outside line and you want to go in as a winger. So you pretend to go this way, but actually I'm cutting inside so that I can take a shot. So I'll go like this, stop the ball, cut inside and then I can have a shot. So this is very effective if you play as a winger or a striker or maybe even fullback, just use it, be creative guys. I'm just giving you an example. So again, let's say I'm, I'm a winger, I'm a right winger. I want to go towards the goal, I'm pretending to go towards the side and the defender will follow me. So I'll do the skill, stop the ball, and then go inside and I can have a shot, okay? So that was, that's an example of when you can use this skill. So guys, I hope you practice this skill a lot at home. It's a simple skill, start slowly first and use your imagination of situation when you can use this skill. Uh, the most important thing guys is practice a lot, okay? Use your imagination as well. Put yourself in a situation in your mind where there's a defender and you have to do that skill to try to beat him and then you have to try to go towards the goal. Whatever in your mind guys, be creative. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next episode.